In this presentation, we will discuss backup options for QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in our test file, Greg's Design and Landscaping Service. Note that the backup option is different for the online version than the desktop version. So if we're used to the desktop version or if we're used to any software that we have the data on our desktop, then we have some different objectives for the backing up of that data for the online version, which we might have different objectives. When we have the data on the desktop version, we have what we would call static kind of backups that we would back up from time to time, usually backing up that static information onto an external hard drive or to the cloud somewhere other than where our data file is at so that if our data file was uh, corrupted or some problem happened to it we can go back and restore it from some other location that's usually the primary purpose to save the data to make sure that our data is okay now on the online version the, that is not as big a risk that is not as big a problem why because it's a cloud-based system and therefore our data is not stored on our local server but stored on Intuit server and therefore it has its own kind of backup restore system so it should be in theory then more secure in that in that system because it's on that server a more secure server that, that they're basically backing up the data there for us so we would think from that standpoint that if we're talking about the on-ground setup we need to have the static backups because we want to make sure that we have a static backup and restore it. If we're talking about the online version, then we would think that the backups should be okay and we should be good because it's on the Intuit server. We shouldn't have as much risk, in other words, of losing the data. The data that we've already put into the system should not be as much at risk. Now, there are other reasons for a backup, however. The on-ground version is great to have backups because also what if we want to test something we can test something out and back up the information run the test and if something bad happened <laughs> if it didn't work then we can restore the backup it's also great on the on, on ground version the desktop version to be able to have different files like we would in a word document or an excel document different quickbooks files that we can use to test we can we can restore to a prior date and time and we can see what happened at that date and time and see what happened later and see if something got messed up in the meantime so we can have multiple files note that those options for the uh, online version aren't as easy to deal with because the online version is is always going to be continuous for the most part we're always going to have the latest data in it if we want to test something out in the online version to see what will happen and and then restore it to a prior point that's not as easy to do because we can't have the multiple files running at the same time so uh just be be aware of that the data is probably more secure in the online version given it's on the server of intuit however we don't have a, some of those other kind of options we do for testing working with different data files and whatnot without basically purchasing a new a new data file note also on the on ground version we have the backup files that we can give then to somebody else that they can then restore work with outside of our actual data set in the online version we can't do that as easily as well either we can't back up the data let somebody else work with a static set of data that we had without giving them access to our current information so uh, it's the online version is really nice that we can give someone else access to the data and let them access it from a different location that's a nice that's nice However, we can't give that same kind of static backup feature that's disconnected to our current data as we can with a, with a static backup. So those are just a few of the differences. And the, the main purpose for the online version is that we probably are more secure just in our, our normal data set. Now, there are some options to back up the file. If we go to this cog up top, we can go to uh, the export data item and we can export that data and it'll give us some options in terms of what's the reason for this exporting data is it just a backup that we need uh, to get tax inf information are we trying are uh, trying quickbooks desktop for the first time so if that's going to be a common theme if we're going back and forth between quickbooks desktop and the online version so we can back up this information and possibly restore it in different scenarios but just note that 
it, it's not as easy to restore just a test kind of data in the QuickBooks Online. In other words, if we have a backup file, it's not as easy for us to just take that backup file and, and uh, restore it just as a test to see what's there and then go back into, the, into our current files as we basically can do very easily with the desktop version. So you just want to be careful on what your objectives are on uh, the online versions when you're thinking about the backups. There's also some apps related to the backups as well. There's an app uh, that you can go to the QuickBooks app, which is called Rewind Backups, which basically uh, you can look into that further if, you, if you're interested in that. Maybe an option to basically be able to make backups at timed points so that we can basically kind of restore to a point in time which is nice again same thing like you can think of it when you're restoring like if you had something that went wrong with your operating system and you wanted to restore it to a prior date then that might be the case so if you wanted to test something out right now and then try to restore it to that prior date uh, if something went wrong you can basically see that kind of option but again even there you can't really restore and then see if the restore looked good and then go back to the other one as you can't jump back and forth between backup files and and the current files as easily as you could with a desktop version but if that's something you're looking for if you'd like to basically be able to say hey i, I want to see backup timed files so then if, if i messed up this week i can go back to last month and back it up to last month and then maybe uh, start from there and go back go back forward that could be an option something to look into as well it's also just possible if you're if you're backing up to to save the data to basically export the reports. So you can go into the reports, get the data of the reports, the main information that would be necessary and, and export the data of those reports, basically being your major contact lists that you would have, your vendors that you would have, your customers that you would have. If you want those on just an external, just hard copy, that makes you feel better <laughs> to have that and that information in case uh, something happened to just the software in general and you wanted to basically restore your contact lists, your vendor lists, your customer lists, then of course you can make the reports and export those as well to have a hard copy of those. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.